Africa today when uh, India, again in the civil aviation sector, is at the cusp of a paradigm shift. A paradigm shift in terms of serviceability for our customers. A paradigm shift in terms of the value proposition that is offered to our customers. A paradigm shift in terms of interoperability with regard to our customers. Digi Yatra was an idea which under the leadership of Prime Minister Modi ji has seen actualization and reality today. In India, for the first time we are using FRT, which is facial recognition technology, to make the travel experience for our passengers both seamless and contactless. We have seen an exposition of that in the pilot project today. In its first phase, we are looking at execution in Delhi, Bangalore and Varanasi, which has started today on the 1st of December 2022. In the second phase, we are looking at four additional airports, Hyderabad, Kolkata, Pune and Vijayawada. And as these seven airports take off, literally, we will then start rolling it out across other airports in India. The Digi Yatra Foundation was set up with this particular purpose. Initially, we had thought of a centralized server system which would house all the data. But then, issues of privacy, issues of data theft rightfully came up. And so we moved to a decentralized system which would house the PII, the passenger information on a decentralized phone, or on a decentralized system on the mobile phones of every single passenger. And therefore, as we went through, you need to download the Digi Yatra app, the Digi Locker app, Upload your information, you'll get an OTP for verification. Post that, you upload your Aadhaar details, take a recent photograph, that matching takes place, and that becomes a secure, encrypted information on your personal phone. So it is not housed anywhere else, but on your personal mobile wallet. 24 hours before your travel, you then provide that data to the airport from where embarkation is going to occur. And once that is done, and you arrive at the airport, you go through a seamless process which we went through, right from the airport entry point, known as the AEP, next to check-in and baggage drop, third to the PESC, which is the passenger embarkation and the security protocol, and finally to the boarding gate. It then becomes a seamless process where no identification has to be shown, where no boarding pass has to be shown. You just automatically screen through the double doors once your photograph is recognized by the in-house system. Across the world, this has led to great advantages in terms of passenger throughput and efforts. And now that India is on a rising curve 
of passenger traffic through civil aviation. It is the right time to start this process across the country. Across the world, we have many examples of this. Heathrow in London, Changi Airport in Singapore, Dubai, Atlanta, Narita Airport in Japan, and all have yielded tremendous results in terms of ease of use and convenience to passengers and passenger throughput. For example, in Dubai, the processing time has come down by almost 40% and the adoption rate of FRT, facial recognition technology, has gone up to a very high number of almost 91%. Similarly, in Atlanta, the passenger throughput time has reduced by almost 9 minutes per flight, which is a huge advantage in terms of passenger throughput. And at Narita, it's almost reduced by two-thirds from what it used to be. So there are tremendous advantages to this. I'm very also happy to report to all of you that in India, as opposed to in other ports of call in the world, where this system has been adopted on a very piecemeal basis at one or two locations in a particular airport. In India, we have made it a seamless process from the entry point until the embarkation point on planes. And therefore, if I may say that the Indian system is a tad more efficient than other systems across the world. We are also working with IETA to ensure that new advancements are adopted at a very, very early stage in India. And this service is available both today on iOS system and the Android app for mobile television. BCAS, which is the Bureau of Civil Aviation Security, has cleared the system for all three airports, Bangalore, Varanasi, and Delhi. And I'm very confident with the ease of use this will provide a huge fillet to passenger service, passenger operability, and passenger convenience in the days to come. So I must congratulate the members of the Digi Yatra Foundation, the Civil Aviation uh, Ministry team that has looked at this, Bureau of Civil Aviation Security, DGCA, all who have worked tremendously hard to make sure that we start this pilot today on the 1st of December and I'm sure that passengers will have a very rewarding experience through this process. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Door is now open.